Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on mixtures. This delicious morning breakfast is an excellent example of mixtures. For example, in this cereal, you can clearly see the raspberries, cereal, and milk. That makes this cereal a heterogeneous mixture. The tea, on the other hand, is something different. The tea has water, tea particles, and sugar in it, but you can't see any of them individually. That makes tea a homogeneous mixture. Orange juice is even more interesting. It has orange juice and water in it, and you can't see those parts. But if it's pulp orange juice, you can see the pulp. So does that make orange juice homogeneous or heterogeneous? You decide. You can experiment with mixtures with the following materials. So let's get started. Our first test mixes cornstarch and water. The solid cornstarch and liquid water form a mixture where you cannot see the different parts. This is a homogeneous mixture. Our next test mixes oil and water. The liquid oil and liquid water form a mixture where you can clearly see the different parts. The oil floats on top of the water. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. Our next mixture is vinegar and water. The liquid water and liquid vinegar form a mixture where you can't see the different parts. This is clearly a homogeneous mixture. Our next mixture is pepper and salt. After the solid pepper and salt are mixed, you can still see the different parts. This is a heterogeneous mixture. Our next mixture is sand and water. When the liquid water and solid sand are mixed, you can clearly see the different parts. This is a heterogeneous mixture. Our next mixture is salt and water. When solid salt is mixed with liquid water, all the salt eventually dissolves. You can't see the different parts in this mixture, so this is a homogeneous mixture. Our last mixture is food coloring and water. When liquid food coloring is mixed with liquid water, you get a mixture where you cannot see the different parts. This mixture is homogeneous.